All right, quick trip to the store, just uh, 1.2 miles, two turns. Let's see how it does. Okay, it says 33, so I need to scroll that down because speed limit is 20. I think that's the same car that came around this curve yesterday when I had to take over in this curve. I was a little over the center, um, but not too far this time. It's really inconsistent. Um, sometimes it's way over the center, and then sometimes it's just a little. This is also inconsistent. Sometimes it stops back pretty far like this, where you can't see anything. And sometimes it pulls right up to the stop sign. So I can't see yet. I still can't see. I can just now see and there's a car coming. All right, that was a little better, a little close to the curb. I was really surprised it didn't jump out with that car coming. Usually it does. Oh. Had to hit the accelerator. I don't know why it started braking there. That is a first. That's the first time I've gone to this store with zero disengagement. All right, so I'm gonna park, go inside, and then we'll do the drive back. All right, leaving the store and heading back toward home. Just one turn. Sometimes it just doesn't switch me into that view on Navigate. And I, I can't see any of the instructions. There we go. That was a good wide turn instead of crossing over the oncoming lane. Okay, I'm over the middle line here. Um, until it could see the yellow line, it was crossing over the, the center.
little phantom braking right there. Um, and that's it. Went to the store and back with zero disengagements, other than, of course, turning into parking lots. But that's a first. Thanks for watching.